Hi, it's Christmas City Girl Homestead. We had a special request for canning, canning mac and cheese. So we are going to do that today. So what we use is the cheddar cheese sauce. We buy that from Sam's. And then we pour it in a bowl because what we need to make now is we need to make um, chicken broth to go inside of it. So Jack is going to start giving me four cups at a time till we fill this up. Just four cups is the whole thing, Jack. Um, I was looking at what side it's on. And you want to do as many as it takes to fill this up. So as he's filling that next one up, it's a teaspoon. So we're going to need four teaspoons, so that would be a tablespoon. <laughs> now if you have your um, chicken broth that's already made up, you can use that too. If not, you can make your own. I really like this. My sister got me onto this, and this is a s'mores. Because, boy, it sure does take up a lot less space to be able to make it. And it's really quick. You just got to do, it says boiling hot water, but we always just use really hot water. That should be enough, Jack. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, we have all that in there. I keep blocking the camera. <laughs> and we're going to stir all that together. And you guys, this mac and cheese is the best, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. And then we're going to pour it into the bowl. Yeah, I'm going to have you take that over there, Jack. And we want to mix that all together. I put the lid back in there now? Yep. Mix that all together. All right, so I'm going to get all this mixed up and whisked up really good, and then I'll be right back. All right, so we have everything mixed together. So now the next step is we need to put noodles in all of these. So normally people would do them in pints, but Jack goes through them really fast. So we're going to use a cup and a third of noodles. So if you were just doing, if you are just doing pints, it's two thirds of a cup. I'm gonna go through and do all these cups first. I told Jack there's one of these jars that I want to keep when he uses it up. I'll show it in just a minute. Now I'll go back through and do the third. And we are going to use the four jars, um, lids and rings, so I can use that up. Oops. My cat's out here thinking that she's all alone again. Poor kitty. All alone. <laughs> she doesn't understand why everybody is petting her, because she's awake and she should be petted. That's just the way she is. All right, so let me show you this jar before we get started. It just says Mason on it. And then on the back, I'll show it to you if you can see it. It says 1776 to 1976, and it's got the Liberty Bell on it. Isn't that really cool? So when he gets done with it, I want it. So now we do... Before I do this, I have to tell you, this is not the four-letter word approved, blah, blah, blah. This is totally Rebel Canning. So, keep that in mind when you do it. This is Rebel Canning. So now, because the noodles do expand, you want to go to the two-inch headspace. So that would be right where this jar starts to come up, because your noodles are going to expand, and they're going to cook while they're in there. And believe it or not, you can ask Jack... 
it does not, does it, Jack? It does not get mushy. Nope. This mac and cheese, honestly, you will love it, Jack. That's, oh, yeah. That's why we're going to do more for Jack, because Jack has almost went through all of his. And we make it by the court for Jack. He's sitting there rubbing his fingers together. <laughs> now what we do for this one is, I'm going to clean the, the lids, the ring, the rims, sorry, my terminology is not too good today, I guess. And I'm going to use just the water again. And make sure you clean that lid very, very good. And with this, you wouldn't want to use your vinegar anyway because it's dairy. <laughs> And so you don't want to get, you know, vinegar into dairy. And then we're going to put the linen ring on from four jars. And now Jack, what he's going to do, we did the debubbling. But he's going to go like this before he sticks it in the canner. Because he likes to do that and he's just weird that way. Well, we already did that one. <laughs> so I'm going to go through and fill these seven and then I'll be back. All right, so we're back. We got seven quarts. Plus, actually, he's got enough left that he is going to just boil up some noodles today and add that cheese to it so that he can make dinner for him and Missy. Maybe add some hot dogs or something to it, Jack. Yeah. Then you can shake it up, baby. And again, this we are using the one piece. Well, they're not one pieces, but two separate pieces of my jars with the lids and bands. So we're going to use all those up. We're going to get these in the canner. Now for these, it is pressure canned. So you're going to put it in your pressure canner, bring it to pressure, let it vent for 10 minutes. And then it's going to um, pressure can for 20 minutes. So we'll be back when they're all done and out of the canner so you can see how beautiful they look and how full they'll look actually. Really nice. We'll be back. All right, so I'm back. If you can hear that hissing, that is the 10 minutes of steam that we need to do. So we're going to let it do that for 10 minutes before we put the um, the wiggly jiggly on it, the jiggly thing. And then I wanted to show you something we did two weeks ago. There is the homemade potpourri that we made with the dried apple peels. And it smells amazing, doesn't it, Jack? Yeah, it does. It's really good. You guys have to try that. So we'll be back when it's done. Alrighty, so there is the mac and cheese. Doesn't it look gorgeous? So this is why you need the full two inch head space because if you notice it, it'll fill it right up. And the noodles do not become soggy, nothing. And honestly, it looks like they've all sealed already. <laughs> Alright, so then we've used our four jar lids again. And... I'm telling you guys, if you can and you love macaroni and cheese, this is a great one to have. Give it a try. You'll love it. Have a blessed day.